What you say on YouTube? Today I'm going over my ways of how I got anime like abs. Now before we get started, I just want to say that my abs are going to look different to yours due to muscle insertions and my genetics. Therefore, do not compare your physique to anyone you see on social media, not even mine. Ab exercises are great for core strength and to make your abs symmetrical. However, your results rely heavily on your calorie deficit and also your body fat percentage. No matter what anyone says, you cannot burn fat in one particular area. So if you really are trying to burn that fat, make sure you're doing cardio, like running and skipping. Now with all of that out of the way, enjoy the video, have a good day. Starting off, we're going to focus on our lower abs by lying on our backs. The first exercise is leg raises. Leg raises are very effective as you really have that time under tension as you're holding your leg up above the ground. Make sure they're nice and slowly controlled. And this is a good exercise because no matter what level you're at, you should and you definitely have the strength to do it. An advanced way and a better way is to actually have your legs 6 inches off the ground and to do low raises. This will really have your lower abs burning and you're going to feel that tension even more. The next exercise in the same position is going to be flutters. Now with this one, you can go high and you can go lower as well. What I try to say to myself with lower abs is no matter how much it's burning, I'm going to carry on even if it's slow. You really want to keep that tension on your abs. For getting aesthetics of abs, I really think training your core and making it as strong as you possibly can get it is so important. And my final exercise for the lower abs is actually going to be scissors. Notice how all of these are going to be in a similar position, which just makes it even easier for you. If you find these exercises easy, what you're going to do is you're going to place your hands by your side, so you rely more on your core strength. Now, I would say this is for more advanced people, but don't be surprised because you probably do have the strength to do this. But first, just start off with it under your bum. For the lower abs, I love to rotate between the flutters, the leg raises and the scissors, both close to the ground, I would say about six inches above the ground with these three exercises i would say 45 seconds of each with a 10 second rest as you really want intensity when you're training your core moving on to the upper abs we're going to start off with crunches now with crunches obviously there's all these little fancy ways of doing it or not even fancy just different variations that might look nice to do but i like to keep it nice and simple we're in a sit-up position and every ab exercise you do you're going to have your neck above the floor this again shouldn't be too hard for you as i know you have the strength to do this it's easy now our second exercise is going to be russian twists we're going to be on our bum with our knees bent and we're going to move our hands to our sides we're also going to be twisting around as we do it to get the obliques involved in this exercise to make this exercise harder and if you're advanced we're going to straighten our legs and move them left to right as we twist around. Coming to our last exercise for the upper abs, it's going to be toe touches. With this one, we're going to lift our neck off the ground, lift our legs up and try to touch our toes. This one is a little harder as it does burn a lot. But I did forget to mention with ab exercises, you do want exhale as you're doing it. Don't worry if you make a funny noise when you work out. If you hold in your air you're going to gas out and you're going to get tired quicker than you would normally now we're going to move on to our obliques the position we're going to be in is called a side plank and we're going to put our feet together and lift our body up and rely on holding ourselves up i'll be real i do not have a name for this exercise there is a name i just don't have it and i'm not going to make up some bogus name on the spot with this one we're coming up and it's like we're pulling something from the other side in the same side plank position, we're going to lift our leg up slowly and lift it down. This is going to make us feel it on those obliques. Then last but not least, we're going to do kickouts. You see, I know the name for this one. With kickouts, you're going to feel the most tension as you're rocking back and forth for those obliques. As you can see, I'm feeling it. As a bonus, in our side plank position, we're just going to move up and down and we're not going to drop. If you're wondering how to get into this position, as I never explained, we're on our left side and we're going to move our body up with our left foot and we're going to be on our left arm as well, facing flat out and being flat on the ground. Now that we're done focusing on the obliques, upper abs and lower abs, we're going to focus on everything. 
this is going to be how we work our full core now the first exercise is bicycles now me with bicycles i need to get better at as they burn so much and sometimes i want to quit but i need to keep on going you need to keep on going we're essentially on our backs and we're twisting into the opposite leg that we're moving if that makes sense this is at your own pace you can either go really fast but you have to maintain your technique or you can go slow if you're feeling it just make sure you don't stop like chris harrier says our next exercise is a plank now i would do this normally for a minute but you can go up higher or you can go lower notice how we're in a push-up position instead of a low plank position because you're too strong for the low plank you're way too strong i had to level up for you make sure you time yourself while doing it for this exercise we're in the same push-up position but we are trying to touch our opposite foot with our opposite hand if that makes sense so your right hand is trying to touch your left foot and your left hand is trying to touch your right foot but we're bringing our foot to our hand as they're meeting in the middle i just want to say did you see the back shreds there i might need to drop a little back workout <laughs> anyway this is from a different angle so you can see as the angle is absolutely terrible now our last but goated exercise it has to be the mountain climbers now these are the burners it should be at the end of your workout to see if you can really push it and bring out that monster inside of you that you have stored deep down. So that is the entire workout done. For this, every exercise, we're going to go for 30 to 45 seconds. Make sure your breaks in between each part of your abs are short, 10 seconds to 20 seconds. And make sure you're not being goofy and working abs every day. Treat them like every other muscle group. <sighs> Thank you for watching and remember, consistency beats motivation.